In this video, I want to show you how you can use mind mapping to outline your book. It's powerful. When you learn this strategy and you put it to use, you can get results. I recently had one of my authoraudienceacademy.com members, Wayne Davies, told me he wrote his most recent book in half the time once he used this strategy. And he learned this and he just applied all the strategies he learned from Author Audience Academy. He was able to write his book so much faster. So I have a book, up, an upcoming book, Broken Crayon Still Color. So I have that in the note. I can just double click on it and I can change it. I can right click it and do format, node background color, and I can change the background color. I'm using FreeMind. It's a free mind mapping software, completely free. So you have no excuse to not be able to do mind mapping. I like using FreeMind. It's not as fancy and it's not as pretty as some of the other ones, but I love it because it syncs up with my mobile app that I use for mind mapping as well, Simple Mind. All right, so let's just say I'm doing a brain dump and I am working on a, this book. And so what you can do is you can just write down any ideas that you have. Now this is going to be a Christian living book, a memoir. It's going to be my story, but it's going to be relating to other Christians and Bible study and that sort of thing as well. So I'm just going to write out all the different ideas that I have. So I'm just going to say rejected, barren. Now these are all, all could be themes of my different, my different chapters. Themes, ideas. So I can say colors represent different chapters. So I actually have this cool idea that each chapter will be a different color and then that color will correspond with whatever I'm talking about in that chapter. So that's one of those ideas. I want to do coloring pages which I think is really cool. They're re that's a really popular thing right now is adult coloring. So I want to have a coloring page for each of my chapters. So then I can just say stories to possible, or I could just say stories. You know, these are stories that I could share. I went, went to Haiti. I practiced for 12 years as a physical therapist, and I went to Haiti, and there was amazing stories that came out of that trip after the earthquake. I did medical relief. So that, I could share that. Forgiving myself. I struggled with a pornography addiction, and as a Christian woman, that was so difficult and I, I dealt with so much shame and just had a really hard time forgiving myself. So I may even open with that, possibly open with this story. And this all could change, but I'm just writing some things down. Don't live with the labels of the past or your pain. So that could be something, but you see what I'm doing? So I'm writing some different things here. Let's just say I just start writing a bunch of stuff. The desire to belong. And then I wanted to put this under the rejected. So what I did is I just dragged that and I dropped it. And see how the, the side of this turns darker gray? So then you drag it and drop it, and then it goes there. Let's say I wanted to put it here. I could do that. If I right click that one, I can delete it because it's um, empty, but then I can just start dragging and dropping. And let's say I wanted to do chapter, and then I want to say one. Um, actually, I don't want to do that. So you can though put these little icons. I like to use these for some things like when I'm listing out, but let's say I want to do chapter one, chapter two. And the thing I love about my mapping is it's, you can change it around so easy. You know, sometimes you may want to do some of this initially in a notebook and then move it over to your mind map. But you can see what I'm doing here. Usually I want like eight to 10 chapters. This will be a full length book. It won't be a short Kindle book. I, I do recommend short Kindle books. So let's just say I start moving these and then, 
you know, I realize, oh, that doesn't fit there. I want to put that here. You see how this is all working? It's just really easy to drag it and drop it wherever fits the best. And then you, um, let's say, I want to have an introduction. Then see what I'm doing here is then when it when it's darker at the top, <laughs> I keep letting go too early, then it moves it up. So you can move them up and down and then you can move these in and out. And what I really like about this too on my map, you can close all of this up. How cool is that? So if I'm working just on writing my chapter, my introduction today, what I would probably do, so let's say I want to put that there. So what I would do is I would close everything else up and I would leave this open. And then, you know, um, point one, point two, point three. Normally there, you know, you'll have different points, but you can put things here. And then if you want to put something under this, just press tab, include this story. But what I would do is if I was working on my introduction, I would just have what I was working on open at that time. And so, you know, um, that way I'm not looking at everything. I love that because it's so easy to get overwhelmed when you're writing a book. There's so much that goes into it. Let's see, conclusion. So I'll have my introduction. My main chapters and my conclusion. It's so simple when you're writing a nonfiction book, but you know, it's it's just, it has to be done. So you can close everything up and then you can open whatever you're working on that day. Let's say you get, I get inspired. I want to talk about this topic. And let's say I have a little thing that's research and I have quotes, I have scriptures and I have stories. You know, I could then put all of my research right in here and I could insert quote here. And then if I want it, I can right click on this and I can actually insert a hyperlink. I use hyperlink text field and then you can link to whatever the quote is if you want to make sure to, to give that person credit just for the sake of entering it in. I'm gonna put in my website, shellyhits.com which is where you can go to get tons of free content. But see, now it has that little thing there. And if I click that, it's gonna take me to that website to be able to keep your links um, for your research too. But then you can close that up. And you know, if this is what you're working on that day, then you just have this chapter open. So I hope that this has given you a lot of clear ideas of how you can use a brain dump and then rearranging things in a mind map in order to outline your book. I encourage you to take action. I recommend coming over to my website. You can just go shellyhits.com forward slash outline. What that will do is it'll take you to my blog post all about outlining your book. And once you get to this page, just click the image of the book right here and then simply enter your email address. You will get access, free access to my book video training, and a mind map with a, you know the tips and such in it for you. I highly recommend you get this free gift. That way you can continue your path on learning how to best outline your book so that you can cross that finish line, outline to finish line. This is Shelly Hits from ShellyHits.com. And this was a training video about how to use mind mapping to outline your book.